Judy Alderson. Well, good evening. I am so glad that you could be here tonight. I'm going to share a little bit about myself, and it might be a story that either you can relate to or somebody you might know. So, Michael, let's do this. I am an in-betweener, defined as a person or thing between two extremes, two contrasting conditions. So, how did I become an in-betweener? I had a great run in corporate sales, and after years of being recruited and promoted, I achieved my goal of vice president of sales. And there was no indication that my career would ever end. Hmm. Until one day, completely unexpectedly, I was told, we're going to let you go. And with no reason given, I found myself packing up my office while the woman from HR stood in my doorway. Yeah. Now, this happened to me in 2009 when unemployment was off the charts. And I live in New Smyrna Beach, not exactly the mecca of corporate leadership opportunities. <laughs> the offers weren't rolling in as they had throughout my career. And to be honest with you, I didn't know how to even just get through my day. You see, for so long, my identity had been tied to that title on a business card. And now I had no business card. I was determined, though to get back in the game, and I accepted a sales position. And after a successful sales year, I was being promoted. And once again, I was leading a national sales team. <laughs> I was back. Oh, well, fast forward to a Sunday afternoon phone call. And yep, I heard those dreaded words once again. And again, with no warning and no reason given. This time, I found myself in unfamiliar territory. I discovered the in-between. That space between a career and the, <laughs> not yet, I'm not ready to get out of the game, sit back and watch. You see, I like to work, and retirement's just not a word in my vocabulary. So this prompted me to evaluate what I really wanted in my life, and what I discovered were my passions. You know those things that make your heart beat faster? I looked back at my career, and I asked myself, what were the best parts of my job? And I realized that for me, selling was about providing solutions, and that leading people is about helping them succeed. So these were abilities that I could apply to other opportunities, ones that might be less demanding, <laughs> more satisfying, and ones that I controlled not situations that were decided by somebody else. I also began to understand that I had not been pushed out of my jobs at all. Or rather, God had pulled me out for something more, for such a time as this, a time for me to become who I was created to be, and to understand why I'm on this earth. And my path to discovering Judy finally began. And I finally understood that who I am is not dictated by what I do. I stopped saying yes to every opportunity that came my way, which for a lifelong pleaser is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> so now I say yes to the ones that are important to me. And you guys, I found this crazy thing called time freedom. You see, time freedom is not about having lots of free time. It's about being able to decide how you spend your time. It's about choosing the pieces of your life and fitting them together in a way that creates the lifestyle I want to live. It's about scheduling my work around my life rather than the other way around. Financial experts are all saying now that we should have multiple streams of income because what happened to me can happen to anyone. And if I can give you any advice tonight, it's ask yourself where you would be if your income ended suddenly. But I also want to encourage you to think about living your best life. Because you are never too old, and it is not too late for you to create your dream life. So today, guess what? I do have business cards.
but they do not represent who I am. These business cards represent businesses that allow me to work when I want to, wherever I want to. I do the things that I enjoy, and I'm able to help other people do the same. I now live in that space between a full-time career and society's definition of retirement. I'm an in-betweener, and my best years are ahead of me. And so are yours. Thanks for